Please Welcome go. back to the Gen Z Speaks podcast. Today is a very important day. Tomorrow is the 2024 election, and Ibrahim has turned completely red on us this year. No, I have a election prediction. You have one too. You um, have a much how do you want to talk thorough. about this? Let, let's thorough. talk about. So remember last podcast we did this when we were going to predict election results. I said you can't really predict until the day before. The last podcast? Yeah, the oh, last yeah. one where yeah, we did yeah, it. Yeah, who's yeah. going to win? I was like, and you already have the election out. No, I I changed I changed a couple of states since then. But I think usually, man, people that try to predict election results like a year in advance, it's very stupid for the yeah, most of part. Uh, unless you're Alan Lickman, the professor we yeah. discussed, who's gotten nine out of the ten presidential elections correct. Right. Unless you're that guy, it's not a good thing just to predict. But I think he's wrong about this election. Boom, boom, boom. I think he's wrong. And we can talk. Let's talk about why he's wrong. Okay. So remember on the podcast, you asked wait, me a very wait, important tell, question. Tell us, though. What? Who's Alan McLick? Like, what's his strategy? Who's he, who, do th- he would, uh, who does he think he's in, is going to win? So yeah. Alan Lickman is a professor. Yeah. And he believes that Kamala Harris is going to win the election. Right. <laughs> and he uses 13 keys. I think we've talked about the thirteen. You keys. You don't have to go through every single one. Yeah, but let's just let's just mention it really quickly. So the thirteen keys that he has Alan thirteen Lick- points. He has thirteen keys. Number one, party mandate. Number two, contesting. Number three, incumbency. Number four, third party. Number five, short term economy. Number six, long term economy. Number seven, policy change, social unrest, scandal, foreign slash military failure, foreign slash military success, incumbent charisma challenger charisma so Mm -hmm. if any if six out of the 13 keys go against the sitting president yeah then the challenger wins so only four keys went against so kamala harris will be president right according to alan lickman according to alan lickman i think he's wrong on a lot of levels one dude something that's really wrong in his prediction is he's using these broad metrics to predict the election results but the electoral college is state by state. And every state has different politics. Okay. We can take a look at Pennsylvania and compare to North Carolina. The voters care about certain things that other voters might not care about. Like Michigan, right? A lot of Arab voters, they care about the war in Gaza much more than the people in North Carolina just because of the demographics, right? So mm-hmm. if you use these broad metrics, you can't really talk about specific states that ultimately end up deciding yeah. the election, which are the swing states. Um, so that's number have you one. Have out to him? I have not. He is <laughs> he's doing a lot of... Actually, maybe we should have like yeah, had him on the podcast and be like, Alan, still. you're wrong. <laughs> we can still. <laughs> maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. try. Okay. But that's number one, bro. Number two. Yep. Remember on the last podcast you asked me, yo, what was the election that Alan Lickman actually got wrong? Yeah. Nine out of the ten, right? Uh-huh. Guess which one? Which one? Think about it. He's gotten one election wrong. Out of the last 10. Out of the last 10. What's been the other election that was close? Oh, Trump and Hillary. No, that wasn't close electoral college-wise. Oh. The 2000 election. The 2000 election. The Bush Bush versus Al Gore. Right. He said Al Gore would win, but George Bush won. Russ, can you pull up the link number one that I sent you? The Not this one, but the other one. Yes. So zoom in on 2000. Look at the margins there. The margins there are excessively small. Mm. So the margins, let me just pull it up on my end as well. The margin in 2000, bro, for the Electoral College was 266 to 271. 266 to 271. And again, remember, you need 270 electoral votes to win. So he won by five electoral votes. Why? Because of Florida. Remember, he came down to Florida for months. They did a recount, recount after recount, and... George Bush won. So I think Alan Lickman's model doesn't work when the Electoral College is very razor thin, like razor thin, which I think is going to happen this election cycle. You think it'll be razor thin? I think, according to me, according to my humble opinion (laughs) as a 24-year-old male from Los Angeles. How old? uh, 24-year-old male, unfortunately. 24-year-old male. (laughs) In my opinion, Donald Trump is going to be the next president of the United States. And can you pull up my electoral map prediction? Okay, so if you look at... It's actually insane how much more red there is than blue. No, it's not. It's very small. 277 to 261 is the margin. No, just visually, I'm saying. Visually. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I get why, but it is insane. So 
my prediction is it's going to be 277 to 261. No. Yes. So, again, you need 270 to win. Donald is going to win by seven votes. I think Donald's going to be in the 350s. You think so? That's your prediction? I think... I genuinely. Think, no, actually, I genuinely. I think California's going to turn red. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> what do you think... It, Okay, we can go by my. Can we? Let's break down my prediction. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a breakdown like you. Okay, but if you if you go to my map for us real quick. Okay, so just zoom in real quick to the 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 blue wall. So go to Wisconsin, the blue wall, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Can you zoom in? Okay, so this is since 1992, bro. Yeah. Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania have basically voted along the same lines since 1992. Mm. So in 2016, yeah. all three of those states voted for Trump. Red, yeah. And then 2020, Blue. Joe Biden. This time, I think it breaks for the first time since 1992. These three states break. Really? Michigan <laughs> goes red. Michigan goes red. Why does Michigan go red? You told me earlier. I told you earlier because there's a lot of Arab voters, yeah. about 400,000 that live in Michigan. And I think they're going to sway more to Trump and third party candidates. Because anti-war? Anti Because of the genocide in Gaza, yeah. number one. But number two, Trump has actually been campaigning in these specific areas. Mm. So recently, he went to Dearborn. I think I'm mispronouncing the name, but just Dearborn. town. Dearborn, yeah. yeah. A lot of Arabs live there. He yeah. went there to campaign. So it's not like he was like, yeah, I'm not going to rally. Clever, yeah. yeah, clever. He went there a couple times. And Kamala Harris has, has gone to similar areas. But she's been very flip-floppy on Gaza. And I'm as a Muslim... A lot of Muslims that I talk to are yeah. not happy with Kamala Harris. They're not happy, bro. <laughs> and even in my own personal circle, yeah. I have noticed a shift, especially amongst the younger guys, for Trump. Just just my personal evidence, right? Like, I don't have any amongst your buddies? to back this up. How close are these friends of yours? Very close. Very Basically, close. I'm saying I'm friends with a bunch of Trump supporters. Is there anybody in the room? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, but there is a poll that I want to tell you, bro. Yeah. So the Council on American Islamic Relations, okay, the nation's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization. I'm reading this from their website. They did a poll amongst American Muslim voters, and they found 42.3 percent are going to vote according to this poll for Jill Stein. No, 42. No. Uh, again, Muslim voters, yeah, yeah. Muslim voters. But still, that's significant. That's huge. Yes, yeah, huge. It's like half. 41% for Kamala and 9.8% for Trump. What? Yeah, and I think this they actually had this wrong. I think it's going to be Donald Trump is going to get about 18 to 20% of Muslims. You're, so you're saying they're, they're, they're underestimating. Wrong by double, yeah. yeah, they're underestimating the support Trump has amongst Muslims right now, in my opinion. So my prediction for the map that I have that has Michigan to be red yeah. is because specifically because of the genocide in Gaza. Kamala Harris, you know what she's been doing, bro? She's been playing a specific amount of ads in Michigan mm -hmm. and then completely different in, in Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania has a lot of what? Jewish voters. Oh, one man. of the highest states with Jewish populations. She's been playing, oh, I'm going to defend Israel. Israel has a de right to defend itself. Yeah, and yeah. then in Michigan, she's been playing the reverse. She's saying Palestinian people deserve, you know, rights. You're and kidding I'm me. Gonna, I'm going to end the war in Gaza. Yes, CNN did a whole news story on this. They've been playing flip floppy ads and politically that's clever sure but is it that ethical is not right it's dude. not right it's not right because you're basically misleading people not truth basically always prevails though yeah you're misleading yeah. people and i think it's gonna hurt her yeah 100 percent. truth always prevails the reason why i think pennsylvania that goes to right. kamala harris according to my map if you pull up my map again russ uh if you see i i i'm not sure about pennsylvania but i think it's gonna go blue uh barely by like razor thin margins and i think one of the reasons why Pennsylvania has a lot of Puerto Ricans, and <laughs> I think because of Tony Hinchcliffe's comment, yeah. it's just going to – they were I already going to be very blue, but it's just going to ener energize those voters to vote more blue. They're going to turn out. So Trump I think – fouled up there. Well, it wasn't really Trump's fault. It was his campaign I, fault. It, yeah. I don't well, think Trump knew who Tony Hinchcliffe course. was. <laughs> That's tough, though, yeah, man. Yeah, but listen, I don't think it affects so much to make him lose the election, but I think that is enough – to swing Pennsylvania in Kamala Harris's favor. So I do think Kamala will win Pennsylvania. And in my opinion, bro, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. it's still a swing state, but I think it's pretty much going to be blue. I'm very confident Wisconsin. on Wisconsin being blue. You don't think the Puerto Ricans are going to be thankful to Trump for tossing him <laughs> Toss the toilet? How embarrassing was that, bro? He was literally tossing paper towels Woo! during <laughs> the hurricane. 
What what year was that? Which hurricane was Ooh, it? 2018? Yeah. Yeah. I forget the name of the hurricane. There's so many names out There's there. So many, bro. I think it was Hurricane Hillary. No. <laughs> Which was what is the what is the like quad uh, going up? The hurricane? Hurricane in, in Puerto Rico. Yeah. yeah. Hurricane Puerto Yeah. Because regardless. We're still, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, bro. I my margins are very thin, man. Two seventy seven to two sixty one. Basically, two seventy seven and two sixty one. Yeah, if Kamala wins Michigan, I'm wrong. Kamala wins. That's all she has to do to prove me wrong. Really? Because according to my electoral map, Kamala is gonna win in Nevada. Again, it's a swing state. I yeah, think yeah. she'll. But Trump is gonna win Hasn't Arizona. Is it going red in Nevada? No, Nevada is usually blue. The last two um, elections been blue. The last two elections. I let me let me just make sure. Fact check myself. Okay. Hurricane Harvey. Okay. Oh, uh, close. <laughs> Harvey Hillary. Harvey, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what they do with uh, with hurricanes, just as a quick thing. What they do is so every hurricane they'll go down A to Z. So it starts with A, B, C, D, E, F, oh. and then it'll keep going. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, it's a trip, huck. Huh? I thought it was just the scientists who. No, really. They, they, yeah, then they name. How do they come with the names? names? Just random. Random. Almost, I think almost every single one has been. Like Why are they always like American sounding like white names? <laughs> Probably because I don't know actually. <laughs> Why isn't like Jose <laughs> Hurricane Jose? <laughs> Why is it like Hurricane <laughs> Hurricane Ahmed? <laughs> well, you should start making it yourself. Are you sure about that? Really? Yeah, yeah. Damn. No, I believe you. Yeah, fact check it. Okay, so Nevada. Yeah, Joe Biden won Nevada last election cycle yeah. by a two or two point four points. Oh, so and it was then, very close. Yeah, and then twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Uh, I think Hillary won Nevada. Really sure. Let me just make sure, man. I thought Nevada was way more red than that. Well, things are changing, right? A lot of Californians, Republicans are going to Nevada and Arizona. Um, actually, yeah, Hillary won Nevada as well. Very nice. I think, yeah, Kamala still wins Nevada, but Arizona, I'm very confident, is red. Is going to be red. It's usually red, isn't it? Is it swing state? Depends. Too? It's a swing state. So there's seven swing states: Wisconsin, yeah. Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia. Uh, Arizona and Nevada. I didn't know Arizona. Yeah. I thought Arizona is always red. Swing state. And then North Carolina. Yeah. Did you have you seen this news? There's a governor candidate. There's a Republican candidate running mm-hmm. for governor. Mark Robinson is his name. Let me just make sure that's accurate. Uh, have you seen his controversy yet? Mark Robinson. CNN actually released a report, bro. He made some racist comments on a porn website, calling himself the Black Nazi, saying, "Oh." Uh, like yeah, saying Hitler was m- like a good guy, uh, and they found this because of the email addresses linked to his account, and then they analyzed the way he speaks and like I don't, it's not so he's obviously denied these allegations. Mark Robinson is a African American Republican from North Carolina running for governor, mm-hmm. and right now he's down by double digits against the Democratic contender. Who's Bro, na- who, yeah? Who are these people? <laughs> That is not a normal. Do you do stuff like that on porn? No, websites? man. No. You don't say you're no, the black Nazi. I don't. I'm not going the, around the saying the brown Nazi. I'm not. I'm not even on them, man. Come on now, but bro, listen. that is insane. Yeah, bro. So Mark Robinson, sick dude, is running for governor. He's Republican, and Josh Stein is the Democrat running for governor of North Carolina. Josh, according to one poll, Josh Stein is beating him by 17 points in North Carolina. So. So you think it's going to go more blue? I No, I th- I still think Trump wins North Carolina. Okay. Because the thing is, bro, this guy isn't going to convince a Trump supporter to be like, hmm, yeah. because this guy is a little True, weird, yeah. I'm not going to vote for a Trump. A little? He's very weird. That's very obviously. odd, yeah, that's very. He's calling himself the black Nazi. I've never heard anybody brag about him and Kanye are the only two ones that I can Con- think of. <laughs> Kanye says he's a black Nazi? Nah, he hasn't said that. But, he I mean, doesn't like Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, according to him, he's, I don't know. You don't like know Jews? What. I li- huh? Do you like Jews? I like Jews. I love Jews. Oh, okay. I love Muslims. I love everybody, man. Oh, I love, I love that. people. We love I that. love people, man. Peace amongst the people. Yes, there sir. Love for all, hatred for none. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So in North Carolina, I'm I'm pretty confident that Trump is going to win. I'm just not confident, bro, about Pennsylvania and Michigan. Uh, that's Those are the two states that I'm really not sure. And that's what's sure. going to decide the election. Yeah, but I think, in my opinion, the most important state this cycle is going to be Michigan. It's going to be Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. I can't <laughs> emphasize that enough. And I think Kamala Harris is going to look back three days from now and be like, damn it, I should have just been more honest about my position on Gaza and just should have called for the end of the war and should have told Joe Biden to do something more. Not just something more, just to- tell him stop giving Israel weapons. I really think it's going to come down to that. 
in my opinion. To Gaza. Yeah, I think so. What? Okay, I have another theory on this, all right? Okay, yeah. think about this, bro. Two assassination attempts on Donald Trump. I know, bro. Yeah. Right? Yeah. One assassination attempt, the, the first one in Nick July, Trump. it grazed his ear. Yeah. That is... If, how is that not a sign... I'm not saying in favor of Trump. I think God is gonna use Trump. <laughs> okay, this is just my opinion. I think, <laughs> I think Trump is uh, Trump is alive. You survive all those assassination attempts because it's just a way of showing the world that if you don't value the truth and what's right, yeah, you'll you're not gonna get good leaders. And I think Trump survived that assassination attempt. Like how how the hell? I think it it only makes sense that he wins, right? Because he survived that assassination attempt. It makes sense why he was saved. <laughs> I don't think it's a sign of like, oh, Trump is this good guy. No, I think it's in the opposite direction. Oh, I'm really? actually saying it's a sign okay. that because America has done all these wars, killed innocent people, that we are going to destroy our country from within through a leader like Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 a man, the orange man is going to be the downfall of the American democracy. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's just yeah. like, you know, that's my opinion. I feel like he I was... think that is a God thing. That That is a, a very... Why was he like, yeah, how did he just bro. come Burn, on? Bro. And I'm not saying God did it as a, to protect as this like warrior. I'm not saying I'm making the opposite argument because a lot of Republicans, they're saying, oh, Donald Trump is like, God forbid, they were comparing him to like Jesus Christ, bro. They were yeah, at the bro. rally. They were like, oh my God. I'm not saying that at all, bro. I'm saying the opposite. Like God is going to punish all of us through him and be like yo i saved this guy only for you guys to so you think the country's gonna be worse off with donald i don't know obviously the opinion that i just stated says that but yeah. anything can happen i don't know what's gonna happen all i'm saying is man for now oh god my election prediction is donald trump is gonna be the 47th president of the united 45th states 45th and 47th 45th and 47th <laughs> now tell me your prediction not that what that was very complex. That was very, very specific. Hey man, I do think Trump's gonna win. Okay, for a couple reasons. What's the number one? Okay, one, I, this is the day before the election, and I have not seen anything more of Kamala. It, like I haven't seen anything more of her. Just going on my feed, going on YouTube, whatever it is. I just haven't seen anything of her. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard more about Trump the last few days. I think it was, I mean, the Rogan thing, even J.D. Vance. Like, you haven't seen Tim Waltz go on anything, have you? I have, yeah. Would you Would you see him on recently? He did a stream with AOC. And he's playing some see, video bro, games. But that's, like, come he's, on. He's, he's You're talking about reviews, J.D. Yeah. going on, on Joe Rogan versus going on a stream with AOC. That is not comparable. We've talked about this, yeah. right? The Trump campaign has gone on platforms that we care about. Yeah. Yeah. Who, okay. Yes, true. We care about Joe. We care about Joe Rogan, Theo yeah. Vaughn. We care about flagrant. That's fair. You That's know, fair. So, I yeah. guess. But even call her daddy. I don't care for that at all. But I still still saw her on there. Yeah. Kamala went on. There. Yeah. Yeah. And she also went on Shannon Sharp. I care. Yeah, about she Shannon did Sharp. Shannon Sharp. Yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying, like in recent times, there's been nothing like super profound that, that they've been on. Right. Um, And I just don't like Kamala. So, <laughs> you know, thank you for bringing that point. I up. don't like Trump either. But yeah, I forgot to mention this election. I said it before. It's men versus woman. Yeah. And the Democratic Party is counting on a lot of women to turn out they made the whole election about reproductive right, rights yeah. about abortion and they're gonna count on the woman overwhelmingly specifically in suburbs mm. to turn out for kamala harris um i think that's a fair strategy but i think they're overestimating the support they'll get just solely from women because they're doing this at the expense of not doing a good job yeah. of reaching young men especially I think this is going to be the first time in history where we see such a big young men turnout for red. For red, huge in my yeah. opinion. I think so. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Even in my own personal life, bro, I've just seen, bro, a lot of young guys go just from blue to red. Not just go from blue to red. They just like Trump more. They just like Trump. They more. just like have more things of praiseworthiness to say about Trump compared really? to Kamala. Yeah. Like, especially the assassination attempt when he stood up to say, fight, fight, well, fight. Yeah, everyone thinks it's bad. That ass. would just, yeah, this, the young guys were like, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I would have done, too. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty badass. He it was, though. No, I, of course, bro. Like, in, bro, come on. You, somebody's trying to kill you and I you know, stand up. That is crazy, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. You might still get killed. What I the know, hell? You don't crazy. know if he's gone. Do you feel like you have more in common with Trump or? or more in common? Yeah. Policy-wise? Trump, Trump or Kamala? Yeah, like, both. Personal and. 
I think no. I think in policy, Kamala. Yeah. And then personally. Personally, I think I would get along better. Actually, no. I think I get along better with both of them. Actually. You pick Honestly, one, though, if I had to pick one, yeah. neither. I'm not picking no, you one. Don't pick put one. me in that way. No, you gotta no, pick no. one. I'm not. Who I'm would you rather have a to. conversation with? Oh, a conversation yeah. with? Trump. Yeah, because one, he's been president before, right? Okay. So, like, I would... He has more stuff to share about because he's been president. Like, he can tell me about the JFK Bro, files honestly, off the record. <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't have much against Harris. Two things I have against Harris... I think she's very disingenuous. I, I just do think so. When I see her, whenever I see her, I don't see, like, a straight person. I see somebody that... Really? Yes. I just see somebody that has a facade on. That smile, bro, it makes me irk. What the... No. Yes. Come on. Irk? Yeah, bro, I it does. I think she has a beautiful smile. Honestly. Her smile, bro, makes me irk. And then the other <laughs> thing... What? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm just, it's just like something I feel, bro. Are you serious? I swear, dude. I just don't like her face. I, she's not that she's, person. not that she's, dis- she's not unattractive. I mean, for her age, she's, she's a pretty decent looking girl, but. <laughs> decent looking girl? <laughs> but no, old. like, like, vi- like, she just, I would feel like some, some type of way if I was standing next to her, like uncomfortable. Okay. I think, I, would. I think and you then, have a thing against women, man. No, I like <laughs> Honestly, in hindsight, I don't like Hillary, but at the time, I was totally for Hillary. Really? Yeah. Wait, you think Kamala Harris is more fake than Hillary? I think so. No. That's my opinion, bro. Yes. Re- no. Yes, 100%. Hillary was just come. A I don't like her. I, in, in hindsight, I'm just what I'm trying to say is back then, in, well, I was 15, 16 years old, right? Yeah. Not that I knew shit, but I would watch a lot of, of Hillary, and I thought she was cool. I thought she would, like, maybe it didn't know too much about her, mm. her background history. Now that I've gone older and learned about her history, her background, and things she's fucked up on. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm totally against her. I'm glad she she lost, actually. But. <laughs> You're glad you lost? Yeah. So basically. Bro, it's not right to. One thing, dude. With military, bro, you have to have their back 100%. If you're the government, you have to have your military's back. And she doesn't. She didn't. Benghazi, she left those guys behind. Okay, so, and Trump called apparently fallen military. I don't veterans. believe he said that. We've talked about. This. I don't believe he suckers said that. and losers. <laughs> that's not been recorded at all. That's like that's been actually. Man, dis- they have evidence. Look, there's this. disinformation. There's been like 33 sites disinforming. Regardless, okay, but that's I, your I don't. Opinion. I don't okay. believe like a president would say something. I don't even think Hillary would say something like that. Like verbally say something like that. I don't think he would do that or she would do it. Uh, but she did leave him behind for political reasons, right? She was trying to trying to portray. It doesn't matter. Point is, I think Kamala is disingenuous, and I don't think she deserves to even be running against Trump. Right <laughs> that's it. Okay, that's okay. I disagree. I yeah. think she does deserve. I don't think. I so. don't think she earned her spot. That's yeah. that. That I agree with. She there should have been a primary. Joe so Biden should have dropped what, sorry, out. Sorry, what are you disagreeing with then? That she doesn't deserve. She does deserve. Deserve does versus earn. Earn. Yeah, it's different. What's the difference? The difference is. Somebody can deserve to run, uh-huh. but do they really? Do they really earn the spot? No, like you know, Bronny James oh, deserves to play gotcha. in the NBA, sure, but did he earn a spot? You don't think day? so? I think he did. Oh, okay, um, I get what you're saying. Oh. Yeah, maybe she deserves to run for presidency. I don't think she yeah. should be. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think she deserves to be against Trump right now. Is my point. I guess yeah, if she, she didn't were to have spot, done it, sure. yeah, yeah, that, 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 But it. she was the VP. People did it. You know, she no, is yeah, the second yeah, fair. person. If she yeah. were to have ran. Um, by herself, I would I wouldn't have a problem at all with it. I just don't think it's right to play somebody. We've talked about this, bro. My yeah. views have not changed from the last few podcasts at all. Yeah, my so the state that I just want to come back to you. Like I feel like you have some type of like I just love this, bro. This I, no, 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 not even <laughs> that. I think you have some sort of um, <laughs> thing for Kamala. Me, I would think for Kamala. I'm not voting for her. I'll say that. Much. I know, I know, but I think you have some sort of attraction towards attraction. Her. Maybe if I she was Am- Am- Amity, would you? I would. I consider? vote for her. First of all, she, her stances would not be like that. If her, no, no, no. Would you like go out with her? What? What do you? T- what is this? <laughs> what the hell? What is? What are you talking about, bro? She's a sixty-year-old woman. She's an auntie, bro. She, <laughs> she's a childless cat lady, bro. Come on now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's JD Vance popularly oh, called. Oh, childless cat lady, eh? That's what. That's what I, I, you know what? I think that is wow. that single comment by JD Vance is gonna affect a lot of women to vote. Um, we talked a lot, bro, on this podcast about how Kamala Harris hasn't reached a lot of men. Right. Donald Trump has not a good done a good job of reaching yeah. women. Hundred percent, he has done a terrible you think job. JD has, should have said that. J, he said childless, ki- 
I don't know, man. He said it years ago, I think. I don't think he said it this cycle, but they brought everything, obviously. No, but he says some stuff about her. Even on the last one with, with Rogan, he said some stuff about really? her. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, they, they say stuff about each other. Rogan Dom- was laughing, bro. Kamala called Trump a fascist. Trump yeah, has called true. her Kamabala. <laughs> Kamabala. <laughs> Kamabala, you suck, Kamabala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, bro, going back to that point, though, Donald Trump has yeah. not done nearly enough to reach Woman women voters. I think he's insulted them in a lot of ways. And again, bro, a lot of women that I talk to very much so are going to vote for Kamala. Um, women that you really? Women that I, yeah, and, and again, my sample size is you, kind yeah, of small. Like, how many women have you talked to, bro? <laughs> my sample size is rather small, but. But not your you immediate know. family. Yeah, yeah, no, my immediate family. Because we're, I mean, come on. I told you, like, number yeah, one yeah. important issue for Muslim voters right now is the genocide Gaza. in Gaza. That's the, that's the number How, one issue. Okay, I do have a question. Yeah, this is a personal question. <laughs> Why? When, when you guys Why are, are you making home? this personal, man? I'm Kamala, just curious. You're ma- what? When you guys are at the dinner table or just at home yeah. talking, how often does Gaza come up? Very often. Really? I'm serious, yeah, bro. Yeah, it does come up often. Wow. Almost every other day. Every other day? Every other day. What do you guys say? We're just like, we're sad about it, man. <laughs> There's little kids Why dying. Why is this happening? Why is it happening? What can we do about it? And you guys talk about what you guys can do yeah, about bro. it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I have like, yeah, I'm not going to brag about what stuff that we've tried to do. But yeah, like we try our best to donate. Yeah, I've reached out to politicians expressing whatever. I don't know if that does much, yeah. but you made me reach out to some politicians. Yeah, I made you. I, <laughs> I, I had a meeting. Don't say there's a ceasefire. I had a meeting with a congresswoman, me and my community. I was there and we tried our best to convince them. Did it do anything? And not much, but at least we tried. Look, tried, the, yeah. I think my, no, my fair, metric is fair. you try your best. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, and then I you can leave the that. results yeah. up to God, but at least you try. Yeah, so, I yeah, that's that. my point. Muslim voters care a lot about the genocide in Gaza. Wow. And Kamala Harris, dude, Trump is at least, the, the thing is, Trump is very clear. He's very pro-Israel, right? He's very clear. Kamala is like flip-floppy. Make make a stand, make a choice, right? She's like, eh. And that eh is going to be our downfall. Trump said he's going to stop it. I don't yeah. know what that means, though. But that's what does that the, mean? But he thinks he's, he wants to end the war. Yeah, thinks, obviously. Yeah. But what does that mean? Like, he's not saying anything. He's he's He has figured out a way to play around it as well. Yeah. But people okay. like him more on this because who's president right now? Joe Biden. Joe Biden yeah. The war started under shit, Joe Biden. Yeah. He hasn't done anything. Right. Trump is, I so guess. So you think he's going to continue under Trump, the war? Of course. Donald you don't Trump think he's going to do anything. It's going to get worse under Trump, of course. Really? It's going to get worse under Trump. In my you think he's going to give more weapons to Israel? He will hold them less accountable than the Biden administration is. One thing that they have said, Trump's ad- admin, he's, they did say that they're going to stop sending so much money over. See, you don't think that's to that's all true? the countries. They didn't say specifically to Israel. No, but yeah, to everywhere, which Let's I agree see. with. Everywhere that should stop sending Let's money. Let's see what he says. And I hope so. Let's see. I hope that's the truth. Benjamin Netanyahu. Who does Benjamin Netanyahu want to win this election? Trump. Trump. Yeah. He knows he's very much more pro-Israel. Yeah. His son-in-law, Jared So does Kushner. Putin, though, want Trump. No. Oh, no, no. He said, Kamala. my bad, my bad. You're right, you're right. But Putin is very clever, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Very he is, clever, he is clever guy. Clever. We don't know what he's thinking, yeah, honestly. Yeah. He's a very clever guy. <laughs> yeah. No, but verbally, he did say he, Kamala, right? He likes Kamala more. Yeah. But yeah, he just said he that so people it. don't, yeah. He yeah. doesn't care. Honestly, he's like, whatever. He doesn't care? I don't think he does, bro. He's Dude, he's been in office for so long, for like two decades. Yeah. He's figured out a way to play every politician. Smart he's guy. seen Bush. He's seen Obama. He's seen Joe Biden. He's seen Trump. He's yeah, seen now he's seen, seen yeah. it all. He's, now he's seen everything. Yeah, he knows. He knows what to expect and what not to expect. He's a terrible person. He's a war criminal. Yes, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I think. Oh, Jill Stein will also have an impact in Michigan. I think so. And you know what's gonna happen, bro? They're gonna blame Jill Stein for Kamala's um, losing the election. That's a good thing, though, if they blame her. I think blame Jill Stein. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because that gives her. There, there's more. A lot of people don't know who Jill Stein is. Yeah, legitimacy. What? There's more like name, like her na- name dropping. Basically, people are gonna get to know her more. <laughs> but they did this in 2016. Yeah, Hillary Clinton was like, "Oh, it's Jill Stein's fault. It's everybody else's yeah. fault." It and then, she, but her. she didn't run in 2020. No. Yeah. Yeah. So then it stopped, right? And the momentum has to pick up again. I don't know why. Why did she stop? Why did she not run 2020? I don't know. We should have asked her actually. Yeah, we should have. Damn. I think our podcast will probably influence the election results. I think basically, so. fifteen hundred people. Yeah, I think our. Uh, it, you know, if you want to blame Kamala Harris losing, just blame it on the podcast. Gen, Z, on speaks. Gen Z speaks. Talk our, about us. Our Talk exclusive shit. interview changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> it changed when Michigan voters were going to vote all along. <laughs> I'm so glad we did that. Yeah, I think next election cycle we'll actually have, uh, you know, maybe the sitting president of the United States, Jill. No, I mean Donald Trump probably. Oh yeah, according to my prediction. Oh yeah, I think so. I think he'll come on the podcast. I, 
there. I think he will. Four years? Yeah. I think we can get there in four years. Yeah, and I think, bro, we'll have probably one of the best interviews. Because we're, n- we're we'll, like, I'll actually ask him some, like, challenging questions. Yeah. Because on, on other podcasts, bro, it's very, I don't, maybe it's it's easy for me to say now, but it's obviously different when the man, six foot two, is sitting in front of you, OB know, says bro. he is, and he's like, <laughs> actually, he's lost a lot of weight, actually, I take that back. Has he? He's lost so much weight, have you noticed? Well, the doctor said that they've never seen anybody like him before. <laughs> the most physically fit president ever. ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so baloney, bro. Bro, Come that's on. so funny. He was like, dude, that is so funny. He's like, well, I can run all day. I can run all day. I told the doc, uh, doc, I can run all day. I'm probably the best runner you've ever seen in your life. And doc agreed, apparently. That's, yeah, the doctor was a very Republican guy. I think the doctor is a congresswoman, Republican Representing a district in Texas. Really? Yeah. Ronnie Jackson. That's his. So name. they had to have a physical aptitude test to run for president. No, there's no, there's no n- needed test. But usually, you know, you perform tests just for the. And they made him run on a treadmill. Test his physical fitness. Yeah, that makes sense. So Kamala had to run on a treadmill. For Probably us? Kamala <laughs> works out every morning. She says, "I believe her." You believe her? Yeah, she's in pretty good shape. How do you know? She have you looked at Kamala compared to Trump? Okay, who's in better shape, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? Probably Donald. <laughs> no, it's Kamala know, Harris. You definitely look at Kamala, <laughs> bro. You got. I'm telling you, bro. I'm t- this is a problem Kamala has as well. I'll tell you why. A lot of guys just objectify women. We just do. <laughs> it's like it. We just do, and it's a sad. It's a sad reality, and it's gonna Europe, affect Kamala. I mean, honestly, I'm, a, I'm guilty of this too. Honestly, yeah. you objectify Kamala more than each of us. <laughs> Shut up. I do what, not. On this podcast, you've been objectifying Kamala. I haven't. I've been saying that you've been. You no. Her. I, what have I said about her? I'm basically saying, bro, that you like her. I I that think is you objectify her. I think her. she has a good personality, and I think you think she's a very attractive person. Sure, you could say I that. Think, yeah. I think you wish she was an Amity Muslim. Exactly, exactly. See, there you go. You just start with the whole rant about her being a woman. If Have you said Donald Trump if he was an Amity? You've never said that. Because so you, you're not gay. What? <laughs> I would not say you like Donald Trump. Like you like okay, him that's like actually that. fair. That's yes. actually fair. Why would I say Wait, that? How do you know I'm not gay? If it was Hillary, I probably would say gay? the same thing. How do you know I'm not gay? <laughs> Why are you the only one laughing? Silent that pause. I am not gay. I am not gay. I just made this very awkward. Okay, but Ibrahim's future back, wife. Be careful. <laughs> back to the election results, though. I do want to talk about one poll, bro. Okay, real quick though. I do what? hope you get married soon. Thank you, man. Okay. I wish the same. Right, Hopefully, maybe, perhaps. Are you thinking about it right now? No, I'm not, bro. Honestly, I've been so like distracted by things. I don't I, think you have been. No, I'm serious. I've seen in your eyes, bro. Shut up, dog. <laughs> what is what the doing? hell? <laughs> dog, man. What the heck was that, bro? <laughs> the surprise. Okay, hold on a second. I want to oh talk about God. a poll. You, why do you keep bringing up my marriage, bro? Why do you keep bringing up my marriage, man? I'm, I'll marry eventually. Because I'll marry I'm, when you marry. I'm okay? very, I'm very concerned. I'll marry when you marry. I have nobody in my life right now. You have somebody. You take the first step. You be leading by example, and I'll follow... Right behind I'm you. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Why? I'm not. Do, I'm not doing I need that. a role model to see a young guy. Oh, you definitely need a role model named Matt Gutierrez. <laughs> Trust <laughs> me on that one. I would. I need a little Mexican agree. man to pave the way for me. Maybe some half Mexican, half Indian blood. <laughs> the beautiful mix of Matt Gutierrez, okay. Mateo, Julio Gutierrez. Julio, I forget that's your middle name. Well, middle so name MJ, G. MJG. DJT, MJT, interesting. DJT, MJT. <laughs> <laughs> Basically the same person, huh? Not <laughs> a little taller. Okay, so there's a poll. Everybody's freaking out. A little taller. The, they're calling it the surprise Selzer poll from Iowa. Okay. Which who's calling it this? The the media. So everyone's calling. So again, it this. like if you remember, remember a week and a half ago, Kamala was down in the polls. Yes. Trump was up up by a lot, but not a lot. I would kidding. say yeah, marginally, marginally he was yeah, up. Yeah. And then the MSG he rally said he happened. He was up a lot. Yeah, he always says. He says till now, bro. He was complaining about this poll. He's like, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> but the Madison Square Garden rally, I think that changed the yeah. media news cycle where people were focusing on the comments made by the comedian, mm-hmm. made by a lot of other people. This was in New York, right? In New York, Madison, Madison Square, Square Garden, Garden yeah. bro, where the Knicks play. Yeah. Sold out, I think, for the most part. Why would they have? That's so weird, bro. What? Why would they have him come on? Tony Hinchcliffe? Yes. I think they were... They didn't... I don't know. Why Tony? They could have had somebody <laughs> way bigger. Tony's pretty big. He, okay, he's pretty big, but he's not like... 
He's not a Dave Chappelle. Yeah, that's sure. what I'm saying. I yeah. mean, I don't know who Dave Chappelle's voting yeah, for. Yeah, they could have had me, but they chose Tony well, Hinchcliffe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, bro, I have a, I've been having a trouble time explaining to my parents the value in comedy, but now yeah. I found it through Tony. Basically, a comedian can influence a presidential election result through yeah. the words that he says. You that is the power this? comedians. Say. Yeah, I literally, I was like, that is the power of comedy. <laughs> you can change the the trajectory. like the trajectory of a particular state. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you they could have had some. Go, uh, go red. No. Wait. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah no. No. What are you talking about, man? Really? <laughs> yeah. No. New York Trump, is not going red. That's Trump's state, though. He always <laughs> says he's a king of New York. Bro, you know he's butt hurt. <laughs> you know, in 2016, when he won, he was like, "I could have won California, but I wasn't campaigning. I could have won New yeah, York." Yeah. He still complains. He said about the that. same thing about California. He, he said something on Joe Rogan. He was like, <laughs> "I honestly think I would win California if there weren't so many weirdos there, or something like this." It's he like he said that. I yeah. Or, or, or if there wasn't uh, 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 fake polls or some bullshit like that. Yeah. That it's like, come on, buddy. Let's be real. We have three three of the biggest cities in the country. Mm. A lot of people after this election are going to complain about the electoral college because I do think Kamala is going to win is going to win the popular, popular vote. vote. Yeah, I think she's going to win, not by a huge. Yeah, no, but it makes margin. sense. Liberals are way more like into this than than conservatives. No, I don't think so. I, I think, don't think so, that's bro. the case. I think they're about the same. You the, think so? No, I, I think, think liberals definitely are are more interested in voting, going out and actually voting. Than conservatives? than conservatives? I think it's about the same. Really? Honestly, I think it's about the same. For the, the first same. year? Huh? Or in general? In general, I think it's about the same. No, bro. Independents vary, but Republicans and Democrats, depends on the election cycle, but yeah. if they have specific issues. So if you look at 2010, right? Mm -hmm. The midterm elections, when Obama became president, yeah. they were, it was a Republican wave because of the Tea Party, which is a very, like ra not radical, right? But a lot of, like, it swings to the right and they yeah. came out in like droves they were like oh what is this and they voted for republicans so they they won the senate and the house mm. so and then in 2022 the tea party the tea party i never heard of this yeah named and after the boston tea party <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah wow you know what happened in 2022 because of the, the the roe v wade decision yeah a lot of women voted and they were saying it was me a red wave but there wasn't because a lot of democratic yeah. women came out and they were like yeah my body my choice <laughs> and we didn't have the Republican wave that a lot of pollsters were predicting. So, but it was still overturned, wasn't it? Roe v. Wade. Yeah, yeah. No, they were voting for Democrats yeah. in response to Roe v. Wade's oh, over being yeah. overturned. Yeah, man, it doesn't do anything. But no, but the thing is, it's very important this election cycle because Democrats are counting on the same Who, energy. Who's running um, the Senate right now? And House? it's blue, so it's fifty-fifty. Okay. But because the vice president breaks the Senate ties, it's blue. It's fifty-fifty right 50 /50. now. Fifty-fifty. Yes. Actually, you can't even say that anymore because one of the Democrats has chosen to be an independent, Kristen Cinema from Arizona. So he, you can just, well, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it leans to the left. She leans very left. So she says she's independent then. Yeah. So and technically. Did you, they vote her in as a Democrat? Yeah, yeah. So and then she chose halfway through. Yeah, she change. chose to be independent. So what's going to happen? She's probably going to lose that next. Well, I, I don't know when she's running. Let's just see. Kristen Cinema. I well, think she in runs. Two years. Oh, so she she's not gonna seek re-election. She's uh, not gonna twenty twenty six. So, gotcha. Yeah. In the House, is it more? The House is Republican right now. Yeah, so Republican it's, oh control. Oh my god. Bro. Yeah, I see. I get the whole checks and balance thing, but I feel like this stunts any growth possible. What? When there's red, blue, red, blue. Yeah, it, exactly. So yeah. you need like because to get things done, you need a majority in yeah, the House, exactly. and the Senate, and the presidency. Then you can get past things. Right. Even then, it's hard. Y yeah, because people from your own party can vote against things. And Supreme Court's red, huh? Well, nine More. to yeah, like yeah. six to three. So six yeah, conservative like, justices. That's sixty-seven to thirty-three. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Six conservative Supreme Court justices. It's not supposed to be like that, bro. Yeah, I know it's, it's not. supposed to be independent. We're not supposed to know yeah. which way they swing. Yeah, I don't think they should have a preference, and that gives them that. But the thing is, the way the they rule, right? It's yeah. not that they have a preference. It's the way they rule. Yeah, but then that is a, a preference, way. right? Sure, but not, yeah, I guess you could say so. One thing I do want to mm. say, man, is um, I, I, I'm losing my train of thought because there's so many, like, tabs open on my laptop and polls. <laughs> but one thing, yeah, so a lot of a criticism of the polls right now mm -hmm. is they're predicting a very close election. But a yeah. criticism is they're doing that because they don't want to underestimate Donald Trump's support like they did in 2016. So they're accounting for that, and they're over, they're underestimating Kamala Harris's support and overestimating Donald Trump's. Donald Trump's just to account for the marginal differences 
compared to 2016. So then in, in those terms, then it seems in like those Kamala terms, then Kamala could win yeah. if the polls are completely off. Then there's a whole blue wave. Do you think the polls are predictive? They're, it depends on the election cycle. Like in 2020, they weren't that bad. Honestly, they weren't that bad. They were predicting Joe Biden was going to win. Hmm. Um, 2016, they were 2016, pretty bad. they were pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Because nobody knew. Nobody expected Donald Trump, Trump, Trump to win Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Again, insane, not yeah. been done in a very long time. And is he completely – he's not completely self-funded anymore, huh? Didn't he completely self-fund no, no, his no, 2016 no, no, election? No, no, He got a lot of money from everywhere. No. So he lied about that, huh? Yeah, he's no, – yeah. I don't think he ever said he was self-funding it completely. Oh, no? No. I he don't think he said oh, that. I thought he said he wasn't taking any big money. No, no, no. He took a lot of big money. Oh, okay. <laughs> super PACs after super PACs, yeah. Everything. Why were they in support of Trump? Who? The super PACs in 2016. They just liked what well, there's Republican interests, corporations, the no, one lesser I'm, taxes. I understand that. Yeah. I understand after you Depends went to the, on the primary, super right? But in when he's going against everybody in, in the uh, general, like. You mean, why were they for him in the primary versus. Because the general yes. election is against Hillary, but primary. My bad, yeah, opposite. Yes. No, I think it changed after. Because a lot of them were. No, no, no. So in the general election. Yeah. Super PACs were funding Donald Trump because right, he's a Republican sense, nominee. Yeah. But, but I primary, don't think in the primary. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe okay. some some were. But that, that's what I was curious about. Because yeah. why wouldn't you vote for? Why wouldn't you sure, vote like, for Ted Cruz or like somebody? Or Jeb yeah. Bush or something. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, if that's what you were saying. I don't yeah, know. I don't sure. know about okay. that. Gotcha. But yeah, yeah, man. So this is the state of the race. One other thing I was just going to quickly say is yeah. there is a possibility that all the polls are wrong, and there's a huge blue wave. There is a possibility. A huge blue wave. A huge. Let me take that back. I don't think there's going to be a huge <laughs> blue wave because huge implies like 400 electoral votes. I don't think that's going to happen at all. I don't think there's any chance of that happening. But there might be a bigger blue wave than m a lot of pollsters are expecting. I don't see that happening personally. I, I think happening. it's going to be a close election. Yeah, I think it's going to be very close. Yeah. Just because of the two candidates. like Donald, People don't like Donald Trump. Yeah. Half the country does not like and him. People don't like Kamala. People, and half the country, they, they don't know enough about Kamala. You think yeah. be closer than Joe would have been, Biden? Oh yeah, if Joe if Joe Biden was running, he would have lost easily. That would have been, a, I think, a landslide victory. Yes, a landslide. A landslide. Yeah, Joe Biden wouldn't. I don't think it would have been close. And that would have been the fair election. <laughs> and that would have been, bro. You know, honestly, this if Trump wins, like it just we just avoid the possibility. Like if Kamala wins, right? What's Trump gonna say? The election was stolen. Yeah. Like it's gonna be a chaos. It's gonna be a mess. Yeah. I'm not saying it's probably better that Trump wins, but at least the, on the bright side. You Honestly, know? bro, Kamala is in a very awkward position, dude, because she has to stand with Joe Biden, right? But then she also has to disagree with him too. So it's a very weird thing. She has to play like a weird political game. And I, and I think she did a bad job of that. I what told you, you right on the View when they asked her. Yeah. What would you have done differently compared to Joe Biden? And quote, no, and, and everything in the four years in office. Okay. She oh. said, not a thing comes to mind. Quote, not a thing comes yeah, to mind. Why would she say this? Because she's just. She should have filibustered at least. She tries her best to do it for but every other question. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. It, because, bro, in politics, one of the things I think. Was that know, edited? Are you sure that wasn't no, edited? No, that she said that. That was not edited. Even the view. The, this is a fact. I'm very okay. sure. 99% sure again. Okay. Can't be completely sure yeah, yeah. these days. But <laughs> <laughs> everything is, has a twist to it. Yeah, but she has a. Yeah, it's correct. Remember Miguel Canales, our yes, teacher bro. in high school, mayor of Artesia? Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> He told me, he told us something. He said, the number one rule in politics that you should, if you're trying to be in politics, you should always try to avoid is not being loyal to somebody who's higher up than you. He says, once you do that, it's over for you. So there was this one mm, local guy. That? Yeah. To, to, I think not in class, but <laughs> <laughs> he said, so he said that. Yeah. He's like, if you're disloyal to your boss in politics, like in elected office, right? It's a huge negative. Like nobody, the whole system just goes against you. That's what he said. And Kamala, I think, knows that, knows and she's that. afraid of not being disloyal, to, of 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 not being as loyal to Joe Biden. You know what I'm saying? I like, get what you're saying. Cause it, yeah. I thinking about it, if she does lose, then she's toast, right? Because she won against Biden. But if she wins, then it's like I I think she can easily just be like. I, and she has said that. She's like, I'm Kamala Harris. I'm not Joe Biden. Right. Remember she told Donald Trump, yeah. I'm, I'm Kamala. I'm not Joe. Yeah. I can speak properly. I'm not Joe. I don't take naps at 4 p.m. <laughs> she didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, she didn't say that last part, but yeah. I made that up. But, you know, she did say, I'm Kamala it Harris. I'm not Joe though. Biden. It was hilarious. People listening and are cracking up. I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> it, was so, funny. it was funny. So, you know what I'm saying, yeah. right? Like, it was. Um, yeah, she's yeah. flip floppy. 
Yeah. That's the point, right? Yeah. That's well, I think that's her major disadvantage this election being cycle. Floppy. Being flip floppy, not being bold enough. And I think to beat a guy like Donald Trump, you need to be populist. So yeah. So do you think Trump wins, right? And then twenty twenty eight comes, do you think Kamala wins the primary? No. Kamala's not gonna run again if she loses. So you think she's done after this? You think she's going to run at least for president? Yeah. Again, no. You if don't you think she'll lose run. once you're over. Yeah. No, a lot of these people run. But the thing is, in the general election, no, you don't really run again. Hillary Clinton didn't run again. That's all I see. Just one example. But yeah, you know, yeah. John Kerry in 2004, as far as I know, did not run again. Oh, you I know, see what you you're saying. Yeah, in the general election, mm. in the so what happens a lot. What you're saying is, yeah. people run in the primary, yes. right? Like Bernie Sanders ran, but he lost. He lost. But if you lose in the general election, like you win the primary, you're in the general, and then you lose general, they'll stop. Then you just stop because again, you Why? made it because because the country chose not you. You were on the ballot on the final ballot, yeah. and the country was like, no, this other guy, unless you're Donald Trump, because that happened to him. But the thing is, Donald Trump has won a presidential election before. It's completely different for him. He you won think in if he lost 2016, he would run again in 2020? In the general election? No. You don't think he would have done it? No. I don't think that would have happened, in wow. my opinion. Yeah. He's because also a different case. He's, he's a, a very completely different case. case yeah. But the thing is, once you have to have some sort of leverage or foundation standing, of success, yeah. right? Donald Trump is running again because he, w- he won, won yeah. in 2016. He's a former president. That's and he, insane, he has dude. an insane amount of supporters that love him to death. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Donald JFK, Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's well, nuts. I don't think in like legacy wise, bro, in history, we're not going to look at him like as, you don't as, think we're going to remember him. No, no, no. Nobody forgets a U.S. president unless they're like. No, bro. There's been like Ru- Calvin Rutherford B. Hayes yeah. or something. Yeah, but in like I, I'm saying, nobody forgets an impactful president. Donald Trump has a lot has a lot of impact. impact yeah, he does. Not all positive. On modern elections. Yeah, like yeah. just modern day era. He's changed the Republican yeah. foreign policy. He's changed the entire party. And you know, I, I think he's proved that you don't need to be a politician to to win. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna see more of in the future elections. We're not gonna see typical politicians running for office but do you think this is going to change the landscape of of policies what like not having politicians in i guess we'll see we'll see how much effect that has because look at congress majority of these people have been in there for a long time yeah so it's not i don't have any data to see the no i'm asking your opinion we'll see i don't know it could go either way i mean the the advantage of somebody not being a politician is they bring a fresh perspective. Right. They're not, you know, stuck in their ways. But then their whole team is. <laughs> in the case of Donald Trump. And that Trump, influences it. Yeah. yeah, like it, in the beginning he messed up a lot. He picked all the people that have been there for so long. Right. So it depends and then he on let who he's up with. He fired up so many people. Fired everybody. He does have a fair point. Like J.D. Van said this too. Like, if yeah. you don't fire people. I agree with are that. Are you a good boss? I agree with that. Yeah. You should You should be a filtering system. But not, not in, in government if you do it so much. But the thing is, bro, in government, government jobs in general, right? Yeah. What's the what's the one thing everyone says about government jobs? It's the best job. Do you know why it's the best job? Because you don't have to do much and you will never be fired. You're like integrated into the system. Mm. Also, uh, contracting jobs, right? So if, if you if you build, for example, um, if you build bushings, right, for airplanes, you're you're going to hold that government contract for life. They don't want to look for more people, even if you're raising the prices on them. That's there's complacency is my point in the government. And so when there's complacency, lack of change happens, right? There's nothing that happens. So mm-hmm. Trump at least isn't complacent. That's one thing I can say about the guy. He's not complacent. Or he just doesn't get along well with people. <laughs> and he's like, You're fired if you don't agree with me. <laughs> if everything's going one way and then one guy changes something and I got to agree with them, man. I don't think... I mean, the private sector, things are so efficient because there's so much turnover. But it is... Aren't you concerned, though? So many former Trump administration officials have yeah. said he's not a good leader. I don't like Trump, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying I like no, Trump. No, no, no. I know, yeah. but it's concerning, right? All the people that he fired, yeah. they all are saying this guy is deranged. <laughs> he's going against the status quo. Not just that. They, he fucking fired them, right? I mean, they're yeah. making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And they all do have a, sudden, a vendetta against him, sure. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like there is. They the have blue a point. gives him some money to say something. No, in, in some cases, you know, like a guy like, 
I'm forgetting the guy, John Kelly, General okay. John Kelly. He was his chief of staff. He's a military guy. He's yeah. been a Republican his whole life, and he's saying Donald Trump is pretty much a fascist. Like when he, when some a guy like that who served in the military, again, yeah. like he served. Unlike Donald Trump, this guy actually served our country. Yeah. In the military, says that about somebody. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah. Huge, and he was his chief of staff. He was yeah. his chief of staff. So he's saying he, 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 yeah. So it makes sense. So he's running this. He's running politics like a business. Trump is right by having turnover. Chief of staff doesn't like that because he's in control of the staff, right? And so that is, I guess, I guess that is more of a fascist view then, yeah. If you're turning over all these people and you don't like them and they're just <laughs> yeah. numbers to you, that is a fascist, yeah. But uh, not just not that. Just, sorry, not a yeah. I'm not saying he's a fascist. I'm not saying he's a fascist, but it's a more like it's more towards that direction. But that's a viewpoint. I don't necessarily agree with that personally. But I just think you have to consider that when you vote for somebody. Like everybody, so many people that have left this guy's administration are saying all these bad things. I get one person, right? Like they have some yeah. vendetta. I get two, but dozens of people, dozens, like person after person saying the same thing. Right. The guy has a short attention span. Dozens? Dozens. So many of them came out and they said this guy is meant like deranged. Dozens, bro. It's it's clear, bro. Trump. He's a cares. narcissist. Yeah, he cares yeah. about Trump. He'll do whatever yeah. makes him look better. Yeah. Anything he will choose. I guess deranged needs to be defined too, right? He'll Narcissist, if that's what you're trying to say. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I think that the problem with Trump is he's not a selfless guy. He's selfish. Yeah. He'll choose himself over the country. He'll choose himself. I over think all anything. these guys do, bro. I think some politicians, like John McCain, was a very like. Look at it's like he got captured. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he served the military, right. right? Like that's honorable thing honorable, to do. Yeah. And he chose country over party in yeah. many instances. You know how much money Obama has made. What? Yeah. Since since all the presidents have sure. insane, bro. Yeah. They get money f to do all these speeches because, yeah, that's th no, bro. I'm talking like he's gained tens and tens of millions. You don't get that from speeches. Most of it is from speeches. I don't. I don't. I personally don't think so. I well, think it's also, some other stuff. Well, going he on. sold his book, bro. He has you millions don't make of people. Hundred million dollars off. Yes, the book. you can. If you're a Barack Obama and you sell like million twenty million dollars? copies, think about this. How many copies did he sell? I think he sold at least five million copies of his book. Check. Yeah. He probably makes about a dollar a buck. Maybe not even that. Barack Obama. Point is... Why are we talking about Barack Obama? I, I'm sales? just curious. I'm just not, I want to talk about this. My, it's not Barack Obama. This is just the one example Okay, he sold 4.3 million units. Okay, and how much does he make per unit? I don't know exactly. He, okay. 65 million book dollar advance. There you go. See, the, so the Obamas got a $65 million book advance. Yeah, so they sell... From four point three million books sold. Yeah, he, they see that that doesn't sound right, bro. You sell a book. Okay, for you're alleging. Each? So, okay, what what are you alleging about the Obama? Not about Obama. Yeah. My my point is, I I witnessed Obama. This is the only one that I have mm -hmm. any evidence of. I guess right. That's why I'm bringing him up. Yeah. That after your election, you gain hundreds of millions of dollars. Something is not right. And you just said this. All the presidents do it. Yeah, because they do, right? And that's not necessarily a good thing, bro. If they're making money from book sales, if they're I don't think that's all where it's all come from. To be I honest, think it's yeah. fine if it's book sales. And I don't, I don't think sixty-five million. That doesn't sound right, bro. Because four point three times what twenty dollars a book? They got a, excluding costs. That's eighty million dollars. Listen, they got a sixty-five million dollar book deal advance. So that advance. doesn't even include. So that's an advance. Yeah. So that is how are they making money? Is my point? How's the publisher making money? They're, I don't know exactly how they're making money, man. That's my point. It doesn't make sense because they're not. They're not making a whole lot of money. Majority of the time, this is how – I know he's Obama, so obviously changes uh, things have cha changed with him. But when you're selling a book, the publisher will take like 80%, 90% of the earnings. The editor, the publisher, that – that yeah. Okay, so if we're going to talk about this. Yeah. So apparently it was both of them combined. Sixty-five million dollar book advance with both of his books, but for both Michelle and oh, Barack. Oh, Michelle and Barack. So they okay. both sold a lot of book copies, mm -hmm. and this is the biggest contract any presidential couple has gotten. Uh, yeah, that's but insane. <laughs> book sales. Yeah, Michelle sold fourteen million copies. Fourteen, 14 million. Yes. So that's and he that sold four point three. No, I. Obama, you said 4.3. Yeah, I said that was the first Google search. I wasn't planning on talking about this. Obama book unit sales. So, yeah, it says 3.2 million. So, yeah, she sold more she than him. She sold like four times, yeah, five also, times. Also, by the way, they want she went on a whole speaking tour, Michelle Obama. With this? Yeah. That's so cost. she makes money yeah. from that as well. 
people buy tickets to this. So that's not that's not included in, in the upfront. I don't know, but I don't know, bro. I understand your point. You You're saying that, yeah, yeah. why are they making Can't so much money? Issue, yeah. yeah, why are they getting so much money yes. out of office? If it's from book sales, I understand. But if it's from doing speeches in front of Goldman Sachs, I don't like that. I don't like that you get paid a million dollars to speak it to a bunch of rich bankers, so they get to flex. Oh my God, Obama came to my event and gave us a whole speech. I don't like that. I agree with you, and I don't, I don't like all the the foreign lobby laws as well. Like I don't like how uh, some politicians lobby, literally lobby when they leave office for certain companies. Yeah. Like, they literally lobby because they know the game. They're like, well, I've been here before. I know exactly what to do. Pass a bill. Right. Give me much more money than I was making in government, yeah. and I'll make you rich and make all your dreams come true. That's wrong. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people specifically this, pick, on, pick on the Obamas and, like, allege stuff about, like, people say Michelle Obama is... Oh, man. Uh, yeah, come on. That's come on. That's racist. No, I have nothing against yeah. them. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, a lot of people do pick on the Obama specifically, but I think, actually, the Clintons are so corrupt. The Clinton family, my goodness. They're just The corruption just does not stop. <laughs> that That is actually a family that is just full of corruption, yeah. both on Bill's side and Hillary's side. Yeah. Like, my, I, just, I don't want to even go down that rabbit hole. But, yeah, man, any other things you want to say on this election prediction podcast? I honestly don't care who wins. You don't care who wins? I don't. I just want people to vote. Yes, vote. That's it. I just want people Wait, to under what? Why don't you care then if you want people to vote? I want people because I think I was talking to Alexis about this. I think there that one of the points of building this democracy was so we have an opportunity to show some control that we have some control over what happens in our country. And by not voting, you're foregoing that. It's like you might as well not be an American, in my opinion, mm -hmm. because, dude, how many people have died just for us to be able to vote? Just for us to be able to say, hey, I'm choosing this person or I want this person. And all those, in my opinion, the people that don't vote, it's like it's like a kick in the face, bro, to the people that have died. Yeah, I just that that is not right to me at all. Um, you should it, it doesn't matter if you like the people. If you don't, if you don't like the people, have a protest vote. Go do something. Go just do something right. Go sign what your name doesn't matter to me. Honestly, it doesn't matter who you vote for, but at least at least have the respect to people that died, people that built this country. Have the respect to go and enact your responsibility. That's it. I agree. You yeah. have to vote. If you don't vote, don't complain about anything. The and, thing is, and everybody yeah. fucking complains, dude. Yeah. You can't complain and then not do anything about it. I agree. 100%. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. Amen. If, if you complain about anything about politics and you didn't vote, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, exactly. Because you didn't do anything. You didn't. You you had a chance to at least do something. Right. And you're like, nah, I'll pass. Exactly. I'll watch Star Wars instead. Yeah, or it's something. annoying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. No, I'm not saying anything wrong with watching Star Wars, but like, is that what you're doing? But you already voted, so you're fine, Russ. Yeah. No. But do you, do you think <laughs> there's going to be a landslide, though? No, I don't think it's I think it's very it's close. It's going to be very close yeah. as well? Yeah. All right, so we agree, basically. Yeah. No, I agree with you. You agree with my numbers? 277 to 261? Yeah, I mean, maybe Trump a little bit more, but yeah. Okay. All right. I think All Trump's right. going to be a little bit more. I think he's going to win, but I think he's going to be a little bit more. <laughs> what if we're Honestly, both I'm very bad at guessing. I'm so bad at guessing. <laughs> really? What Dude. if we're both wrong? <laughs> what if like, what if Kamala just wins? Well, possible. It's very possible. It it's is. a close election. As long as it's fair, bro, as long as people are voting for Kamala and it's not... Some fake bullshit no, going on, bro. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Yeah. I just think, yeah, more people, if you have an issue, go do something about it. I don't think we'll know the results on Tuesday. I think it's going to be a couple you think? days. No. Yeah. I think it'll be like maybe Wednesday, Thursday. I think we're going to have the preliminary. Like, yeah, I think I think we'll have some. Yeah. I don't think we'll know for sure who won on Tuesday, though. You think I they're going to do, you're, they're going to recast votes? I think because the election is going to be so close. Yeah. There's a possibility that they do multiple recounts in Michigan. They might do that. And yeah. if the election is so close, if nobody reaches 270, then we have the repeat of the 2000 election cycle, yeah. which was uh, for like literally a month and a half, we didn't know who the next president was going to be. Nobody knew. Yeah, because there was recounts after recounts, and the Supreme Court made a decision, okay, right? Okay, but Bush won, right? Yeah. And, and, right, Bush won, and they had this celebration, and then they kept having recounts, recounts, recounts. No, 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 no. It wasn't like that. They were still, like, so that that's what the thing yeah. was. They weren't celebrating anything. Nobody celebrated anything. They both, November e 5th. each of them claimed victory in Florida. So it was dead, like, literally, that's what happened. And we didn't know who won the election because you couldn't clinch 270. Because remember, Russ, go back to the map of the, of the presidential... Not this one, the other one. Go back to that, the other one, the first one that I sent you. Yep. So go to 2000, zoom in 2000. Zoom in on 2000. 
Yes. Zoom in on this map. W what is the margin? 270 what? To what? What's 271 wow. to 266. Five. Five electoral votes. So nobody nobody was president. It's literally just Florida. It was just Florida, bro. I think there is a chance that might happen in Michigan this cycle. I think there might be something like that. Again, I could be wrong, but yeah. So we're going to start seeing numbers tomorrow come in. Yeah, I don't think we'll know who the next president will be tomorrow, though. <laughs> That's another prediction. What do you think Trump's going to say? <laughs> what? If, if nobody wins tomorrow. If it's not He's like going to say, I won the election. Yeah. Huh? We already, that's, come on, it's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Kamala is going to say. That's yeah. the question. Let's see how they approach it. And by the way, bro, right now in the House of Representatives, Speaker Mike Johnson, who's Republican, and the Democratic leader, mm -hmm. Hakeem Jeff Jeffries, they're fighting over contestant, the, the, if somebody decides to contest the election, what are the rules going to be in the House? There like has to be rules, yeah. I agree. They're just they're just like disagreeing over basic things to certify the election. Sorry, to certify the election, yeah. which is fair. I think that's fair. <laughs> but it's what are you like? It's if they don't agree on the thing, yeah. then whatever party wins. Is there any rules in place right now? Yeah, there's certain rules. So what are they disagreeing win, about? They're just just about a bunch of like stuff, uh, procedures, how to bring it up for the vote and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll see, man. It's I, I I just hope we have a safe and secure election. I just want something legitimate, bro. Yeah. As long as it's legitimate, people are actually going out and voting. There's no election fraud. Yeah. Nothing weird going on. I don't think that, that's going to be happening. That's it, yeah. All right, man. Thanks, Thank you folks. for a good podcast.